So this lady Uber driver was stabbed with a steak knife. I just wanted you to know that. Dara Kosha Shalwi, I wanted your wife to know that. And I wanted your extended family to know that. I also wanted the executives at Uber to know that this lady was stabbed with a steak knife. Why? Because all of you over there, fast asleep, still haven't woken up yet. You haven't had your coffee yet. You're still in your king-size bed snoring away and avoiding safety for drivers. Let's be very clear here. You have done, done nothing. Zero, Mr. Kosher Shawi, for driver's safety. Why, I ask you, I ask your wife, I ask your extended family, and I ask the executive trash members at Uber, why does this happen all the time? Why are these individuals on the platform performing these types of acts? Unacceptable. Unacceptable. I will continue outing you. I will continue being a voice for drivers until people like this lady can actually drive safely and don't have to worry about a kitchen knife. Uber driver, the target of a sinister scheme. He said that he was going to kill me. He said that he was going to make my son an orphan. Reader, scared and stabbed by a passenger. Oh my God, I'm going to die right here. But a good Samaritan making a life-saving stop. And she said, hold on, honey, the police are on the way. And she stayed until the police came. After the ride share scare. A nightmare passenger pulling a knife on her. Next thing she knew, she was fighting for her life. Seven's Jeff Lennox has the exclusive. This is blood right here. This is all blood on me. Brittany Evans just getting out of the hospital Friday morning. Blood on her clothes, her hand cut up. This Uber driver describes her terrifying night just hours before. After I just made a delivery, Uber gave me a pain to go by a Meisner Park to pick up a guy. That guy, according to police, Jonathan Hartman. You're going to sit, baby. Hoodie, he got into the back seat around midnight Friday. Sick individual. The encounter started with a friendly chat. He was asking me what school I go to. He was asking me if I'm a single mom. How many nights do I Uber? The single mom drives for Uber to pay for college no good. for her eight-year-old child. Dara, she says this, this is who's in your car. Killed her. He punched over from the back seat to the front with the steak knife and put it up to my neck. And he said that he was going to kill me. He said that he was going to make my son an orphan. Really? He said that he Disgusting. was going to hijack the Disgusting car. Disgusting human. And he said, Sit. I only wanted to kill you. That's the only reason why I got in the Uber. Brittany says the knife looked like this one. He put the knife up to the steak knife up to my neck he realized it was on the dull side pushing into my neck so when i grabbed it he kept trying to turn it to actually cut me i was screaming at the top of my lungs and i was crying and i said i, I said not today she fought back stopping her car on federal highway in deerfield beach stabbed me so many times you know i was just like oh my god i'm gonna die right here most people drove right on by but one woman took action she says that woman saved her life Whoever she is, I just want to tell her thank you. An angel. Because she's the only car that stopped for me, and she stayed until the police came. And I don't know her name, but I just want to give her the biggest hug and thank you. Because if she didn't stop, this guy would definitely... <laughs> He would have killed me. She's grateful to be alive, but unsure of what to do next. He basically took my bread and butter away from me. And I don't know where I'm going to go from here. Jeff, what? Sweetheart, reach out to us. However I can help you, we can help you. Set up a GoFundMe page. Let's get you good attorneys. Let's hold the scum. A, the scum passenger uh, responsible. Obviously, he's young. He doesn't have much money. He's pretty effed up in his brain. But let's hold the company responsible because the company put you in this position, right? She's traumatized. She's lucky to be alive. She had an angel stop for her. Otherwise, she would have probably bled to death, right? My heart goes out to you. I'm glad you are okay. I'm glad you are amongst it. You need to heal. You need help. We want to help you. Set up your GoFundMe page. Send it on over. I'd love to make a follow-up video for you. Let's support this sweet lady. Um in Florida and um, Dara, are we going to hold you accountable because this has to end, right? I mean, he, he wouldn't want something like that to happen, right? 
he, he, you know, so if, if it were, I'm sure he would, would jump into action right away if it like hit close to home, right? But to allow this to continue because you do not do your background checks, because you do not vet your passengers, because you don't have to have photos, right? I saw another screenshot from um, a, 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 a driver sent me from a passenger, Russian mafia. Really, the, the, that's who I'm going to allow into my car when the guy's title is Russian Mafia. I'm not, I'm not making this shit up, Dara. Right? These are your people, right? That you are whoring, taking, pimping out for a dollar or two so that hard uh, working people like this sweet lady are trying to make a, li a living to, to support her stepson. I am telling you something. I am so effing sick and tired, right? And this is why I understand that Dara Kosha Shawi has a $2 million security entourage because people are angry. I am angry, right? And I'm going to keep on fighting for women like this, for drivers, um, no matter where you are, no matter where you are, no matter what country, we are going to bring responsible safety measures for drivers. And we are going to get this asshole out of office, out of his executive office, because he is in competent to lead. He is incompetent to keep people like this safe. I think I've made my point very, very clear here, Dara Koshashawi. You're failing us when it comes to safety. You failed this lady and her family and you're going to cough up. You're going to cough up big time. Ladies and gentlemen, please support this lady uh, when she issues uh, us her GoFundMe page. I please reach out to us if you come across this video, if you have friends that alert you about this video, we want to help you, right? I've had, I have a lot of experience with helping drivers and raising money. I've raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for drivers. I want to help you because you should not have to go through this because of Dara's failures to act, period.